Welcome to the 2016 Rally America National Championship, where the best stage rally drivers compete on some of the toughest stage roads in North America. Over eight rounds of racing through the snow, mud, dust, and forest. Airing coast to coast across the United States, only one radio show is bringing you the action. This is Rally America Radio, powered by the Down and Dirty Radio Show, and we're your home for coverage of the 2016 Rally America National Championship. Game on. All right, we're out here at uh, the first service and only service of day number three here at the 2016 Oregon Trail Rally. David Higgins just coming down the hill now into service. Uh, Travis Pastrana will be about a minute behind him. So uh, we're going to see if we can try and catch up with the Subaru Rally Team USA. Get the storylines here. Only a few seconds still separating David from Travis. We've heard of a flip-flopping lead. Uh, Travis taking uh, four seconds out of David uh, on the first stage, uh, plus or minus uh, uh, some tents there. And then it uh, looks like David uh, battling back through the next two and taking some time out of Travis. So uh, these guys, uh, teammates, absolutely battling it out here at the Oregon Trail Rally. We've got two stages left to go. It's definitely going to be a shootout. Uh, don't forget, we've got that two-wheel drive battle we're going to bring you up to date on. Um, we've still got uh, victories open for uh, SP and uh, B-Spec. So uh, we're going to see if we can catch up some of these drivers, find out uh, what's happening out there on the stages with, uh, with two stages yet remaining here at Oregon Trail. All right, we've got David Higgins here just uh, finishing up uh, first group of stages, uh, day number three. Take us through the uh, opening stages today. Yeah, first stages um, didn't go perfect for us. It was a good clean run, but then coming into one junction every year, we always turn left at the junction, and I was all set up to go left and then remembered last minute we had to go right, so cost, lost a couple of seconds in there. Um, and then Travis took like four seconds off us in that stage, so then the next two, you know, we knew those stages were very, very loose from, from the recce. But it just had to be one of those sort of balls to the wall and try and keep the momentum going and do the best we could. And we won the last two stages to, to get a little bit of a lead again. So hard, hard few stages for sure. So i uh, got a couple of stages left. Uh, you know, what, uh, you know what, what's, uh, what's the plan of attack? Well, we, we've got to just go into it as if the rally's just started still. There's, there's no um, thing. Obviously, you know, the, the, big, um, the big disadvantage is now gone from those first few. So to, we've actually extended our lead over some saves where we thought we were going to lose it. So that's a very, very positive thing to get. But obviously now it's, um, it's still a long way to go. All right. Well, thanks a lot, David. We'll catch up with you at finish. Thank you. All right, got Travis Pastrana here just uh, finishing up, uh, you know, first uh, three stages. I know, uh, you know, you're just saying you dropped the hammer. Yeah, you took a few seconds out of David and uh, take us through the, you know, the opening three stages. Yeah, I've never been in a battle where, you know, right now we're 6.2 back, but I've never been where that felt almost insurmountable. Um, we've been, you know, going back and forth with just tents. Our first stage, I think we caught him a little off guard and uh, got, a, you know, got four seconds back, which was, which was huge. We put our, pulled ourselves within a half, about a half second. Um, but, you know, those guys, they're on. Their notes are on. We can't, anytime we make a mistake, I know that, we, you know, one mistake in a in a 12 mile stage, and we're like, yep, that that was that stage. So it's going to be very difficult, but uh, we're we're going to keep charging and see what happens. Well, and you know, it's, I think it's great, you know, seeing this battle, and I'm sure, you know, you've been wanting, you know, this for a long time. I know David has, but to have a rally, you know, this close, I mean, you don't see that in, in rally that often. No, this is the furthest we've been apart, and it's 6.2 seconds uh, since the start of the rally. Uh, we were looking back to the last rally, I went into the final stage, uh, three seconds apart, and the furthest out was the nine seconds. So, uh, really a dream come true to, to be rallying against, uh, you know, kind of my, my coach and mentor, and to, to be this close to, you know, someone that's, uh, that's, that's done so well in the sport. So, definitely... Um, it's frustrating. We still want to win, so we're gonna go do some do our homework and uh, see if we can make some time on the next two. All right. Thanks a lot, Travis. Thank you. All right. We got uh, Jeff Seahorn here pulling into uh, final service of the rally. Got a couple of stages left to go. Take us through these opening three stages. Uh, first three stages went went, went uh, really well. Um, on the second stage, New Ender's B. Uh, it's really flat out all the way down the hill. It's lots of fresh gravel on the road, so it's pretty tricky to try and stay flat on some of the fast corners, but. Um, pulled it off and then uh, had a little excitement over the flying finish. I was busy honking at the spectators trying to give them a buzz with the horn and uh, went into the flying finish. There's a left four plus right after and I just went in there a little, I thought I was okay but it was pretty marbly and we actually went off and straddled the edge of the road after the finish and had a little moment but no damage and it was a little bit of excitement on our video, I guess. So Karen wasn't very happy, but makes for some good GoPro, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And then uh, Big Boyd, we, uh, you know, our fish head tuned uh, car uh, is making good power, carrying lots of lots of speed. So I'm happy with, uh, you know, the, all the help that Isaac goes through tuning my car with uh, fish head performance tuning. 
Um, we're, I think we hit, you know, we're, we're, we're well over 100 miles an hour. Yesterday, I think we hit almost 130 miles an hour on one of the stages. So very, impl- very pleased with the power, and uh, we're just going to try and power down on these last two stages and bring it home. I know uh, you said earlier in the rally you're fighting, uh, you know, some rear suspension issues with the strut. Uh, any problems with that, or it seems to seem to have gone away? No, we swapped back to my spares. Uh, issue was when I had built my uh, struts, I did uh, Bilstein uh, Universals. I didn't quite get my fasteners right on the top, and I I think they stripped out, and uh, you know, essentially the strut body dropped down, and then it was just banging around in there loose, and. You know, it caused a little bit of damage to the strut tower, but we had the spares. We changed them out in service in the 20-minute service and uh, got back out there. And, you know, we've ran this all-wheels driven suspension for, you know, two two years. So, you know, it's been proven. It's been on the podium before. It's it's good stuff. So, um, yeah, so we got 50 millimeters on the front and four, the 40s back on the rear. So I think we should be good to go for the rest of the stages. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Jeff. Thanks, Jim. All right, we've got Tino Fortunato up here, and uh, uh, and all smiles. Sounds like you had a little fun off a jump just now, huh? Oh, yeah. First time with a real suspension that we got from MCA, and we just figured we'd sail it. We didn't even lift. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, definitely going to have some f- good photos after the event from there, huh? I, I can't wait. Trust me. All right. So take us through uh, those morning uh, morning three stages, you know, how uh, how'd everything fare? You know, we eased into the first couple. Uh, they were all high speed. We just uh, set our comfort level and went from there. Keep it consistent. We're not too far from the end. No need to be a hero right now. Well, you got uh, two stages left and uh, super high speed stages. You know, what uh, What do we expect this afternoon? You know, I think we're just going to do the same thing we did. We're going to stay consistent, run it, uh, do the best we can. Uh, we're in contingency and uh, shooting for a podium, definitely for sure. And then, I mean, big thanks to the sponsors that got us here too. Griot's Garage, uh, Nameless, uh, Red Star Racing, and as well as Orca. I was going to have you excited, you know, looking forward to uh, next rally here in a few weeks, uh, home event there in Olympus. Uh, you know, must know those ra- roads well. I know them a little bit. They've changed up this year, and I'm really excited to have Olympus, man. That's probably one of my favorite events. I mean, backyard event. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Tino, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. All right. Thank you. All right. We got uh, Ryan Millen here, uh, you know, finishing up uh, first three stages. Uh, sounds like you guys are, are still right in the hunt there for the two-wheel drive victory. Yeah, we've lost a few seconds. I think we're about 10 seconds back now, or 12 seconds or so. Um, yeah, like, you know, anything can happen, so we'll see where it goes. Uh, got two stages left. Um, we'll keep running a maximum attack and see where we uh, end up. Well, I know uh, you guys got some uh, time on this car last year. You've uh, obviously run three uh, Rally America events this year, and, uh, you know, we're going to see you at the full championship, but you got to be really happy with this Toyota platform. Yeah, thrilled, to be honest with you. Um, you know, we're a bit disadvantaged being an SUV. Nobody races SUVs in rallying, so um, just stoked to be proving that how capable and durable and reliable and actually how much performance is out of the RAV4, so very pleased with it. Uh, you know, looking forward to some of these other events. Uh, you know, anything uh, coming up that you're really looking forward to? You know, looking forward to Olympus. I think that one's kind of special in my dad's racing history and being, an, you know, an old WRC event. That one means a lot to me. So uh, I've heard we get to ride around pace notes, so I'm excited for that because that's something that we do. So, um, yeah, you know, I think that'll probably be the coolest event. And then all the other ones, everything's new for me this year. I've never done any of these ra- races or rallies, so um excited all right well thanks a lot ryan good luck for these final two stages thank you jim all right we got cameron Steele here just fill, uh, pulling into the final service of uh, oregon trail rally we got uh, two stages left sounds like you guys have uh, have a little bit of a lead over second place at this point in time but two stages left to go anything can happen right oh yeah definitely anything can happen with two stages to go uh we got a slim margin of error i mean one little mishap, a little slow on one corner, a little skid out too wide. I mean, we could lose it all back. So I think we're only up by like 12, 13 seconds. So we need to keep it pedaled to the metal and keep going. Yeah. So, uh, you know, plan, you know, plan of attack for these uh, final two. Obviously, you guys still have to push 110%. Oh, yeah, definitely. We're going to be pushing as much as we can because we don't want to lose it. And I know he's going to be pushing. I know he's pushing hard. And he's right on, up our butt right now. <laughs> Pardon my language a little bit. But, yeah, I know he's going to be doing whatever he can. So we got to keep on our game and make sure we do whatever we can to make sure we keep him at bay. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Cameron. Good luck. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, we've got uh, Steve LaRosa here uh, pulling into the final uh, final service of uh, Oregon Trail Rally, winding things down. Got a couple stages left, but uh, how are these opening stages for you, Steve? Uh, they're fun stages. They, they weren't good for us. Uh, we lost power again on the first stage. Luckily, it was a short one, so, you know, we didn't lose. I mean, we still lost four or five seconds to the leaders in our class, which, you know, if there's a bright side, I was happy with that with no power. Um, second stage, though, we were two miles in, and it just it just started running on two cylinders again. Um, so, 
Uh, the third stage, same thing. We were about a mile and a half in, and it went back to two cylinders. So uh, we're going to try to make lemonade out of lemons or whatever the <laughs> whatever you say and just get some good points coming out of here, you know, and try not to drop any further back. I mean, the guys are, are still working trying to figure this thing out, but um, we just want to try to get it figured out before Olympus. And going to Olympus, still standing good overall, and uh, just get our points back that we lost this weekend. Um, but, I mean, the Maxxis tires are, are working great this year. The Baja Designs li not, lights last night worked unbelievably well, and, we you know, we never have problems with the Maxima lubricants, so... You know, we're just trying to take a positive out of this, and you, you know what they say, you, you win your championships on your worst days, so that's what we're going to try to do. All right, well, thanks a lot, Steve, and uh, we'll see you at the finish. Thanks, Jim. Wrapping things up here from the final service of the Oregon Trail Rally. And uh, standing on a bridge overlooking this creek that's running and uh, just absolutely beautiful up here in Oregon. But, uh, man, clouds starting to roll in a bit. I know rain was in the forecast for three days. Haven't seen any yet. Knock on wood. I'm knocking on this wooden bridge as we speak. Uh, hopefully these clouds stay away. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe get a few drip drops, but it uh, doesn't look like any kind of major storms rolling in. But uh, two stages left to go. Obviously, open clouds got that battle. David Higgins, Travis Pastrana. Oh, man, we got a shootout there. Two-wheel drive, Cameron Steely, Ryan Millen. Another shootout there. Seahorn, solid lead in super production. Jordan Guitar, solid lead in V-Spec. But uh, it ain't over till it's over here at the Olympus Rally. And uh, we will have full coverage uh, from the finish of the rally from the podiums later on tonight. Make sure and follow me at JimBeaver15 on Instagram and Twitter. And uh, also Rally America Series. It's at Rally America Series on Instagram and Rally underscore America on Twitter. Rally-America.com will give you those uh, timing and scoring updates. Thanks to all of you for tuning in. Uh, appreciate uh, each and every one of you. Love the comments. Love the feedback. Definitely uh, let us know, um, you know, how we're doing. And I appreciate you guys, uh, you know, staying locked and loaded here for the Oregon Trail Rally, round three of the 2016 Rally America National Championship.